floating homes has everything, even the old, outdated computer. Running machine under Windows needs 220. It's working fine and without any problems because of my masterminded wonderful installation. So JR is trying to find our dinner for today. Shitty day, but with very good results because JR was able to fix the prop back again. The prop, which I think is not belonging to us, but nevertheless, we have some. And this is the fish. And this is the ma damaged because JR was trying to impress the local village people. <laughs> How agile and sportive he is, and then.
Golfo de Ana Maria on our way to Cayo Preton. Maybe we will anchor there, maybe not. We will decide this when we approach. Because the option is to go straight overnight to Cayo Sasa Afuera. can see nothing there should be a zodiac a dinghy dinghy is gone with including the motor spare gun dive vest dive regulator bottle gaffer tank anchor anchor line all gone stolen unbelievable this peaceful looking place that is how it is whoever stole my zodiac with all the things inside he will not demotivate me to enjoy a nice sunset Later, I must say, you're something when else. you are sitting on the veranda <laughs> and your grandchildren, one of your five different women, asking, Hey, grandpa, tell us again the big adventure when you were on a sailing boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you went to Cuba. And I said, Oh my god, it was the worst trip ever. They, um, they had me doing all the stuff. I had to be staying up at night. We worked four hour shift. The captain sleep most of the time. As you see, I'm over here doing the dishes. That's, you know, I'm working. I'm always working. You know, a lot of work every day. It's a very stressful trip, you know. Wink, wink. Okay. In fact, he was sleeping all the time. True, 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 true. Let's say not all the time. Let's say um, 80%. No. But he needed 85%. it because he was he was working so much and so hard. Second day in no, the third day in San Fuegos. We arrived Friday, so Friday, Saturday, today is Sunday. We will leave to Cayman Island tomorrow morning. 
expecting roughly two days of sailing and I am now on the way to the hotel where I can find Wi-Fi. That's the club in the Marina San Fuegos. They are somehow separated but also together. The only thing what makes it easy or difficult to enter is this the gate here. I had a nice shower. Warm shower, warm water. Huh? Poor dog. He passo contigo, eh? Frisch geduscht, auch nicht gekämmt, aber dafür gibt es jetzt ein Cuba Libre. Also known as mentirosa, which means a lie. That is the funny word for the, the Cubans are using to describe this drink. Because at the moment Cuba Libre is a joke, a lie. So they call it mentirosa, which is the Spanish word for lie. Fresh out of the shower. Look how nice my beard and my hair are growing. I hope you like it. As always, and when it is really rough <coughs> and you have to work on a wheeling steer and to look to the waves to get 
the right course for the boat. We forget to make some movies, some crabs. So we made it from San Fuegos to Cayman Islands. We are here opposite side of Georgetown, close to the cruise ships. In roughly two days, starting with no wind, less wind, not enough wind. We have to use the motor, ending up the last 10 hour with too much wind, too much wave, using motor for stabilization. And more or less, not a single minute, with nice, comfortable, funny sailing winds from the east, the so-called trade winds, nothing of this extraordinary conditions. But I'm happy we made it. We are here on the mooring, I will show you later. And it's rolling like on a roller caster, but we are safely connected with a mooring buoy, so nothing can happen. The only question is that the authorities cannot come to clear us in, or we cannot go to them, because it's too heavy winds and too much high sea. And they even are considering to relocate us to another spot, but that is uh, later. My Mr. Handicapped? Yes, my arm hurt. Yes, broke a ribs. No, I didn't. I fractured my ribs, fractured my right arm. But other from that, it's giving it a good job getting us here in one piece. And here? In good shape? Oh, yes. I have a prescription that needs to be filled. <laughs> he reluctant, don't want to get me off the vessel. I get the prescription filled. I don't know why. I need this medication. So it is what it is, but he's doing his thing. Bye. So close to shore, but far away from us. Nobody comes to clear us in, and we cannot go to clear in ourselves. At the moment it's a little bit sunny, that gives you the wrong impression. The conditions here are really harsh, not like you expect them. For the Caribbean. Crystal clear water. Big giant cruise ship, the liberty of the seas. And basically, what we need now is just uh, to get off the vessel and get the stuff that we need, and then we could be, you know, well prepared with provision. Es geht nach Montego Bay, single-handed. Ähm, bisschen mehr als zwei Tage. Ähm, mal schauen. Ich bin ganz gespannt, wie das Wetter sich entwickelt. Die Vorhersage war ja ziemlich kunterbunt. Also, ja, man soll.
I'm close to Kingston now. I will now go around uh, Port Royal, the entrance. I will stay in the channel because I don't like to catch a fish on it again. And now, in one minute, is my captain's cocktail because I'm arriving. I will celebrate it now before I uh, can arrive to my berth in the marina. It's five. And then it's my captain's private own captain's cocktail. Looks a little bit here like a mess. But the, re the last days were really a fight here. And the Jamaican fishermen, they did everything to make it difficult for me to reach the port. And now, captain's cocktail. See you later. A little bit of rum and a well-deserved beer from the Cayman Islands is my captain's cocktail. Die Biere und der Rum, die Biere der Länder, die ich besucht habe, Kuba und Cayman und der Rum aus Jamaika. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. Marinus out.